Welcome to Gear Tech. We will be demonstrating how to modify a part that was created using Gear Tech in SolidWorks. You see we have the part open in SolidWorks and after the part had been created we've added some holes. I'm going to take the rollback bar and drag that up to suppress those features. We recommend that you suppress anything that you've created after the gear tech has created the model. And now I'll switch to gear tech and we have the part model open in gear tech also. And what we're going to want to do is change the number of teeth from 30 to 50. We can change those here or we can do it in the edit mode. So to get into the edit mode we go to CAD edit CAD models and that opens up the dialog box. Now you'll see this comes in blank. Don't let that bother you. We just need to go down and select which configuration that spur gear is stored under in the SOLIDWORKS model. So here we can change the number of teeth to 50 and you'll see the screen in the background update automatically. And from here we just need to click the update CAD button and then I'll switch to SOLIDWORKS and you'll see it's in process of changing that. And it's working away. Okay, it looks like it's completed. So I can drag the rollback bar back down and the model has been updated. And I'll switch back to gear tech and we'll just accept these values and we'll keep the values that we just changed and we're done. Thank you.